Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dr. Quack Podcast. Today, I want to talk about something here that is, you know, affecting the world. And I might be saying some stuff that, you know, may offend you, may make you mad. I apologize for this ahead of time. So, what I'm going to talk about is the coronavirus. The coronavirus. I mean, this thing a week ago had no effect. At bare minimum, you know, it, it was affecting the sports world. Now it's affecting the entire sports world. What I want to do today, though, I want to talk about the effects of this uh, virus here. In case you don't know, what this does, it's an RNA virus that causes a variety of, you know, diseases in humans and animals. Pretty much, it will run into, um, it, it's like a messenger. It just goes through the body and it tries to find all the protein in your body and just locks on to it. And, you know, some people have coped with this by making jokes. Other people have went into complete paranoia, buying out all the toilet paper in the world. It does happen. You know, all sorts of stuff. Everybody's freaking out. You know, how I feel about it is it's a virus. I mean, a lot of people, it's affecting everywhere. A lot of people are shaking hands with their elbow. Yes, and daps. Nobody wants to do the handshake anymore. And, you know, the biggest thing I can say with this is the paranoia that has already started. I mean, so many people are flipping out on it. On Monday, you know, the, this really af- didn't affect anybody. Now it's all you hear about. Now they're taking so many precautions. And I want to go into that. You know, I mean, you're talking... Let's talk the sports world first, because that's what I usually talk about, right? Usually get to talk about the... NFL, NASCAR, sometimes the NBA, college basketball, everything. Well, a lot of places have said, we are canceling our seasons. MLB, 30 days. You know, they canceled their, you know, spring training. And now they're two weeks extra ahead just to try to start their season. NASCAR has um, delayed things. They, they have suspended their season for a little bit. The NBA suspended their season until further than those. The XFL canceled their season. I thought they were going to be the only ones to stay alive. Why? Vince McMahon, you know. Because what I'm getting ready to talk about, the only sporting event, and I guess we call it sporting because we do it on this, on this channel. The WWE, what did they do? They decided to hold an empty arena SmackDown at their performance center in Orlando. They didn't go to where they were supposed to in Detroit on Friday. They decided, no, not going to do that. We're just going to hold the show right here. Does that mean WrestleMania is going to be a no personnel show? Is it going to be an empty arena show? I mean, this is going to be insane. I'm, I'm waiting to see this. They're talking about two weeks they're going to know an answer for sure. You know, and there's so many rumors out there. Of course, the um, legislature over there, over in Tampa Bay, they are kind of against this. They're wanting to see Vince say no instead of them saying no because they don't want to be the point of it. I mean, I can imagine if you are a fan and you have tickets to WrestleMania because it is not cheap. It is not cheap at all. I mean, there are some cases where $10,000 tickets or even more. Yeah, people are like, what? For a wrestling show? Yeah, it's it's the showcase of the immortals, you know. So can can you believe that that it's really going to happen? That that we're keeping an eye on here at the Doctor Quack Podcast. We are wanting to see what really happens. But you know, it's affected the sports world. It's affected schools and church. Schools and church now. People have, you know, a lot of, a lot of the states have said, you know, we're canceling school for two weeks. So that means kids will be home for two weeks. Some teachers have sent, you know, stuff for them to do during this whole two-week time frame. You know, churches, they're now doing them online, you know, which it happens. I mean, it's not like they're completely cutting it out, but, you know, people like to be there. People like to be at school. People like to be at sporting events. They've changed everything. This virus that hasn't hit a lot in America, it's starting to spread more and more by the day. You know, there's 
I think there's 40 cases where I'm at. That's what I've been told. I mean, there's about a couple hundred cases in America, but there's thousands of cases all over the world, especially in China. You know, people the, the people are freaking out. The paranoia. I mean, so I got told this by someone who went shopping yesterday. <laughs> all of the aisles were taken out. There was no cleaning products. There was no toilet paper. You know, they're they're online talking about here. This is how you make homemade toilet paper. Here, this is how you make baby wipes. You know, me, do you, do you believe the hype? Because a lot of people don't want to believe the hype about this virus. They all feel like, oh, God, you know, it's just another thing the government's doing. And I don't know. They might be right. They might be wrong. I feel like this virus is really a, it's going to take more people out financially than they are physically. You know, and then look, the paranoia is spreading. I mean, at work, you're, you're seeing most jobs now are sending people home if they can. To go work at their home instead of being around people. They don't want to touch people. They don't want to shake hands. They don't want to do anything. You know, in my world, it's a different world. Because if we're not there, can you sell cars? You know? I'm interested to hear people in that business what they think they should do. You know? I mean, like I said, finances. They're talking about now, they're in certain states. You know, I'm in Pennsylvania. There's been rumors that they're going to increase food stamps. They're going to increase unemployment because, I mean, I want I want you to picture being this person. And some of you are going to say, yeah, this is me. You know, imagine being a single parent and you have a six-year-old child. Just say that. You know, not old enough to stay home alone. You know, going to school. They're closing daycares around the world, around the country. And you have to decide if you're going to stay at home, not work. If you're going to use your leave during this time frame. This is two weeks. Really hard here. You know, this is affecting people's leisure time. People are paranoid to go out to restaurants, to bars, to clubs. Because there's a lot of people. You never know. Today, I got a pizza. I'm not going to say the brand, but I went to their store and picked it up. And I had a lady covered like this with her mask. Tell me this isn't affecting the world. It really is. You know, this is something that, you know, they say, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Should have been doing that before this disease. Should have. You know. Clean yourself. Make sure you're okay. Wash your ass. You know? Do all that. It's the simplicities of life. The little things will always kill you, they say. That is a little thing. Sing row, row, row your boat. You know, three times or whatever. But take care of yourself. Because that's what you got to do. I mean, my question to you, the public... How much is this affecting your life? I am curious. If you'd like to write that in the comments, I would really be appreciative. Because I can tell you, for me, it's affecting my life. It's affecting just about everybody I know, you know. Because without people coming to your business, are you making money? It can be hard. Especially certain businesses. If you're online, sure, that's going to be easier, you know. But it's still going to affect you there, too, because people that have to go work can't make money. They can't go online and go, here, let's go to Amazon. Ta -ta 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 -ta. That's what I'm saying, folks. You know, make sure you take care of your young ones. If you have people with, all, with immune deficiencies, take care of them. Make sure they're all right. You know, look out for each other. You know, we're the human race here. Don't matter if you're short, tall, black, white, or whatever. We're all part of the human race. Got to make sure you take care of people. And, um, you know, I'll be monitoring the WrestleMania epidemic here. That, that's really the one. 
Because you look at every other sport, done. E3 concert that day, by the way, on Tuesday, gone. You know, concerts are canceling because too many people. Most states aren't allowing you to have 250 to 500 people at max at one place. That is what's really horrible. I would like to thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you watching this. I'm interested in your thoughts. How much has this affected you, the coronavirus? If you can, please like, share, subscribe. I'm also going to have an interview later on today. It's a separate segment. But I wanted to talk about this first because it really felt like it's hitting home. It's hitting America. It's hitting everybody. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in, and I'm out.